is have uh, students, family, friends, yeah, people in the general the audience house. come and share. Because there are so many, we ask that we try to keep it short. I know that everybody has special things that they can say, they can tell many stories, but because there's so many, we ask that you would uh, try to keep it short. And, uh, but, but we want to see it in your heart. And it can be in, in pieces and we'll just stream it together. The end. But if it gets a little bit too long, I might just, you know, have family come up and share. Because uh, you can see there's a lot of people lining up. Which is just love and share. Oh, so I want to give the uh, coaches, I guess, there's first. There's no answer to talk. Look to the right. Well, against the wall. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think there's that. Maybe they're off the back one. It's great. It's going to be okay. Oh. Knowing, uh, knowing Coach Ree as we all did, uh, I know that uh, he'd want to celebrate. And uh, the guy was never short of an idea. <laughs> Always had an idea. Whether it was uh, the coach's idea to go to Vegas. Uh, it was an idea to go to New Orleans. You know, we're not talking like in the distant future, but immediately. <laughs> Right to the golf programs, banquets. <coughs> Always an idea guy. Uh, excitable. There was a day that I, I didn't look forward to going to work with him in the office. You know, generally I would always be the one of the first people in the office, but generally, uh, usually the first one sitting down at my desk, and, and uh, he'd usually be the second in the office. Coach Banzar, Coach Ellington, always the first in because they've got eight block weights. And, but uh, we'd be sitting in the office, or I'd be sitting, and he'd come in and sit down in the big side. And so I'd ask, well, how's the morning? Have his Mountain Dew on, the, on, his, uh, on his table. And uh, he was fine after that. But uh, definitely wasn't a morning person. I, I definitely imagine him being a night out of us. <laughs> the number of people here today is, is probably not even a testament to the number of people that Coach Reed's uh, touched. I know he's touched my life, he's touched all the people. Um, what's funny is, though, is, is uh, yesterday I was asked to hold his phone, uh, try and get a hold of some people important to him and his family. and, and uh, not for the sake of seeing who was on the phone as far as his contacts, but I had to share it with somebody and show them how many contacts were on the dog on the phone. Because Yellow Pages had nothing on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has more contacts. But, uh, you know, he's been a lot of places, had a lot of experiences. He shared those experiences with us. Uh, we're forever stronger for that. His, his, uh, his willingness and his ability to bring light to, to uh, you know, serious topics and bring a smile to all of our faces. Uh, he'll be forever remembered and never forgotten for that. And uh, as we all do, uh, love him dearly. Thank you. to the family. I just want to say Coach Reed was a great man. He's made a big impact in my life professionally. Uh, in high school, I wasn't always the most popular, whatever you want to call it. Um, I always beat myself up because I was always bullied. One day, he uh, came up to me and he seen me, I was down. And he told me, he's like, what's wrong? I was just like, you know, I just can't take this no more. And then he keeps on picking on me. Like I said, I wasn't everyone's friend. And he gave me a talk, and basically this talk encouraged me to build up more self-confidence, to make myself more confident in who I am as a person. And he told me that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a great man someday, and that anyone's going to be like, more happy to be my friend. Well, after senior year, like, everyone started to get to know me. I started breaking out of my shell, started talking to everyone. And I remember his words that he told me. And I just want to say that without his words, I probably wouldn't be the person I am today. And I just want to say.
say thank you. And uh, all of everyone here, students, uh, family, uh, teachers, coaches, he was like a big brother to me. He was a friend and a big brother. And uh, we all, we're all going to miss you. And uh, we'll, we'll see you at Heaven's Gates.
We both played uh, golf under uh, Coach Reed. I did it for uh, three years. He did it for two, I think. And uh, it, it's hard to describe what exactly he meant to us. I didn't really understand it until today, but you really don't know what you have until it's gone, and that's how I feel with Coach Reed right now. He, <laughs> he was just such a great man and inspiration in almost every aspect of my life, whether it was on the golf course or, you know, texting me. I remember I dislocated my arm when he was one of the first people to uh, talk to me and make sure I was okay, and that. When he get back on the golf course, he'd kick my ass again. <laughs> <laughs> Which he never did. Um, but he <laughs> was such a, an amazing guy. He was more than a person to me. He was a mentor, a great friend, a second dad to me. Uh, I remember every time I practiced, he uh, always made sure I pushed myself to the hardest, and I never wanted to let him down, ever, because he knows I could do so much better in almost everything, and I just hated coming in, being like, you know, coach, I had a bad day, give me this look, because he knows that I have so much more. I was especially one of my favorite memories with him was after I had a, a tournament in uh, Paso, I came into uh, the restaurant, he was sitting there by himself. I said to him, Coach, I, I didn't play good today. And he said, you sure you don't look like it? And he's like, well, I thought I'd stick it through to you, make sure you uh, keep smiling at me. And he said, I'm proud of you. Now go get that bartender's number. <laughs> <laughs> every day for him it meant so much to me to see his smile every day made my day and yesterday I was playing at a golf tournament and halfway through my round I found out that he was in the hospital
I'd say yes, I'd learn a lot from them. Um, I wouldn't say that all of them are good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come home and I'd say something to my wife, and she'd be like, Where did you get that from? <laughs> That's me. That's me. No, it's not. Um, that guy just, uh, you know, such a sense of humor. Um, you know, I, every year going through, uh, you know, football season and, and all that, you know, that stress. And uh, as soon as I'd see that guy, um, you know, I'd have a straight you know, look on my face. And as soon as I saw that guy, man, I knew he was going to say something. And, uh, of course, he's going to crack a smile. You know, it could be the last thing that I would ever think someone would say, and that guy would say it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it always... You know, I can keep going, and it always brings me out of my funk, and, uh, you know, uh, you, I, I will never probably meet uh, such a quick-witted person in my life. Um, you know, it was, he was two steps ahead of everybody as, as far as uh, comeback jokes, and, you know, he, he was going to get you, and he was going to have the last word, uh, you know, and uh, you know, no one can match that. Um, I'll never forget the uh, double meat, double cheese, footlong sandwich at uh, that Subway. Sometimes two of them. Uh, yeah, he wanted to challenge me in an eating contest, but uh, I never did. But, uh, you know, that guy just, uh, he had a routine, and, uh, you know, you know, and I watch him, uh, I watch him talk to kids, and, uh, you know, basketball team, you know, golf, you know, and uh, he just knew what to say, and uh, and he meant every word of it, and, uh, you know, he, I could just see the kid just, you know, staring at him like, wow, man, this guy knows what he's talking about, and, uh, you know, and I could just see him touching people's lives. Um, now, I could say he didn't love every student. But man, uh, when he loved you, he showed it. And he was blunt, very blunt. I even tell if he didn't like you, I don't like you, boy. Or he, you know, or he, uh, or I mean, he, uh, he was going to say what's on his mind. And uh, very, very few people do that. Um, you know, you just kind of wait for the next thing that's going to come out of his mouth. And, you know, and uh, man, I, I love that. I love that about him. You know, and, uh, you know, yeah, he was my, uh, you know, one of my buddies in the office and uh, towered over me and I just <sighs> loved to hug that guy, man. He was just like a bear. And, uh, you know, great guy. So, um, you know, my condolences go out to the family and, uh, you know, this is a celebration of his life. So, uh, you know, we try to try to remember the happy things that, uh, you know, about the guy, and uh, I think that's, uh, that will get us through this. Um, and I want to thank you guys, uh, everybody that's came, come out, um, short notice, and we got, you know, half the community in here. You know, it, it's great to see. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm blessed to, to know all, you know, Probably most of you guys, and, uh, and you know, I'm blessed to, to know him, and uh, knowing that, you know, like they said, you know, he's touched every single one of your lives somehow. So, thank you.
might have just, you know, he was something I would uh, look forward to coming to coming to eight o'clock in the morning and sitting there and wait for him to start going off on Coach Jones. <laughs> you know, you know, it's just it was, it was it was like you know you have those things that you look forward into in the day and like you know you see him come in the room and you know it's about to get fun, it's about to get more life, you know. And, uh, and you know that being said, uh, you know, yeah, you miss a presence like that in your life, but uh, you know.
to know him and all the advice and memories we have together. I'll like I could be. He was motivated all the time. Like JT said, he'd kick my ass every practice. Because I was complaining that my leg was hurting or that I wouldn't hit the ball right. He just said, shut up and swing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coach. I played Recently, I played a really good round of golf. I almost played par, um, and I told him, and he said, Oh my god, I'm crying right now. <laughs> Probably wasn't, but still. <laughs> <laughs> like JT said, you really don't know what you have until it's gone, and Coach Reed is, he's the last person I would want to. Leave. Like said before, I was looking forward to years being with him and getting better and I wanted to play in college and he said he was going to make it happen.
And I know he's with the 